think that in the Internet of Things, that the things, the products really, that make up the Internet of Things, those things are changing dramatically. They have been changing over the last 25 years. If you go back 25 years ago, products largely were mechanical products and maybe had some electrical components in them. But then they started to put software in those products and we, that would be what we would call a smart product. Uh, and then once you have software in it, it's not too big of a leap to give it an IP address and connect it to the internet. Now you have a smart and connected product. And so products have been on a tremendous evolution, a journey if you will, and PTC as a technology provider have a responsibility to keep pace with that and to have technology solutions that will help our customers create those great products. You know, if you think about an aircraft or any type of uh, an aerospace uh, product, it has a tremendous life cycle, right? Very, very long life cycle. And so while that product may be manufactured once, it's going to be serviced over a very long period. And service really is the what we call the killer app, the killer application for the Internet of Things. Uh, and so having a connected product allows you to completely transform that service experience, to be able to see the product while it's in use allows you to be able to service it long before it's going to break so you can get out of this whole break-fix cycle and start doing predictive maintenance instead. Service is the really, really big one. It's, a, it's an amazing uh, ability to be able to transform your service experience because you can now have your eyes and ears on the product, be able to control it and optimize it. But service isn't the only one. Um, there's fantastic use cases in the areas of, uh, of product requirements, for instance, being able to understand how the product is used, uh, being able to do monitoring of the, where the product is, uh, other things like that. So lots of different business cases. Once you have a product uh, connected to the internet, you can do some really pretty amazing things that you can't do with an unconnected or disconnected product. Um, first of all, you can monitor it. You can simply have your eyes and ears associated with that product. You can see the product while it's in use. Uh, second thing that you can do is you can control it. If you can connect to the product while it's in use, you can uh, be able to do things like, say, lock and unlock it, a locked door, for instance, just as a simple example. Um, the third thing that you can do is to optimize it, be able to understand what conditions is the product operating under and to be able to vary those conditions so that I can optimize the product. And then if I combine all three of those, uh, the last thing I can do is create an autonomous product, a product that can actually learn from itself and learn from its environment and be able to optimize itself.